Now the fifth feature that I've seen in MIUI 12 that I'm kind of excited about is actually light mode. Now, if you're like me and you're either the tech enthusiast of your group or you're the tech enthusiast of your family, light mode allows you to give someone a Xiaomi device with now a very simplified UI and kind of overall simplified layout. And it works just right out of the box. The reality is that for a lot of people that would watch this channel, you're probably considered the tech enthusiast of your circle. Someone literally the other day, insert screenshot here, asked me, I need to buy my aunt a new phone. Is the Redmi Note 9 Pro a good phone? And I said, well, there is a light mode, which makes it easy and simple to use. And if it's going for your aunt, she'll probably be pretty happy. For so that's why light mode is number five on my list of the five new things that I like in MIUI 12 Global. Now, my first experience using MIUI was actually on the Poco F1. The device that I had before that was the Mi 5S Plus, which I immediately hated MIUI at the time. I rooted it and I put CyanogenOS or uh, Lineage OS on it. After that, I got the Xiaomi Mi A1, also stock Android. Then I got the Xiaomi Mi A2 and that device just had horrible battery life. And then I made the switch to the Poco F1 and that's when I really began to enjoy MIUI. That said, I've always enjoyed the international flavor of MIUI being Xiaomi EU. For those that don't know, Xiaomi EU is based on both China Beta and China Global, and they've been making Xiaomi EU for people outside of China now for eight years. And it's very much a polished version of MIUI for the more discerning of tastes. People that have complained that I use Xiaomi EU and call that MIUI, I really don't understand what the complaints are. If I'm using a Xiaomi EU stable build, it's gonna be based on the China build that everyone's got already. If I'm using a weekly build, it's based on the beta build that China has. In neither of these cases have these builds been unstable. And I would say that coming from MIUI EU to MIUI Global Official, there's a lot of little tweaks. And so today I wanted to talk to you guys about the five things that I'm excited about or the five features I like in MIUI 12 Global for the Redmi K20 Pro or Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. Now, number four on this list is going to be the updated control center. Now, this is a direct ripoff of iOS. Swipe on the right side of the screen, it's control center. Swipe on the left, it's for notifications. But I'm actually enjoying this for a very specific reason. If I am going to my phone and I'm going to the status notification bar, I'm either going for a quick setting or I'm going to check my notifications. And having it divided like that gives more room for each function. So even though I don't like the incompatibility with different launchers, which I experienced when I used the Microsoft launcher for a week, link to that video up here. If you guys haven't tried the Microsoft apps out, they're awesome. But if you're using the stock launcher, the swipe down on either side of the home screen for notifications or for the control panel is just an intuitive and a more convenient way of accessing that stuff. Otherwise, it would take two swipes down from the top to get to all of your quick settings. And this way, it's just a little bit more thoughtful and a little bit more anticipating what the user wants to do. The next thing that I want to talk about in MIUI 12 is your ability to use it and hit subscribe to this channel because statistically 94% of you guys are not subscribed. And the best way to support me is by hitting the subscribe icon. Number three on this list is animation. And it's not all positive, and I am gonna talk about the negative aspects of MIUI 12 at the end of this video, so watch till the end. But I do like the new uh, animations, the way the apps seem to open out of the icons. It's something that just seems really, really fluid and visually it makes a lot of sense because normally the application is seeming to open from wherever my finger was. 
And if we're trying to catch up to Apple and iOS in regards to just fluidity of user experience and overall seamlessness, animations and the way the device feels is a superficial thing that makes a big deal. The second feature that I really like on this list is the new resizable windows and the floating notifications. I'm gonna put these two together because they very much function in a similar manner. You're able to open up an application over another application, kind of like a desktop mode or the way that you would on Windows. And this is awesome if you're watching a video, using a map, and you need to go between either locations on a map and directions in a message, or if you're watching a video and having a conversation with someone at the same time. It allows you to have a more seamless experience, not have to leave the app. And as devices and screens get bigger, it's a feature that I've been using more and more. This is available on all of the newer Xiaomi devices that are running MIUI 12. It's not restricted to just global or China only. And it's something that if you take the time to uh, learn and appreciate how you can use these resizable applications, it can be really powerful. The next one is the floating notifications. And this is something that has been a little bit buggy still, and it's something that pops up a lot uh, and then goes away in MIUI 12 on the Poco F2 Pro. Um, but you get notifications and chats that come in, and in those chats can just be replied to seamlessly without having to go into your notifications, pull something down. The chat just kind of opens right there. And it's something that, along with the resizable windows, provides a lot more multitasking functionality to Xiaomi devices. Really quick, to talk about the features in MIUI 12 Global Stable, I haven't seen any pop-up for the Poco Pop Buds Xiaomi Mi Air 2 SE headphones. And if you wanna read a full write-up about those, you guys can go ahead and check out the write-up on my website. The last and final thing on this list is the revamp to privacy and the ability to only let applications use your location or access certain things when that application is being used. It's something that's kind of more officially rolled out in the global releases. I've had access to it on builds based on trying to beta for a while, but it's now something that we're seeing uh, hit mainstream global MIUI. And it's something that I think is gonna save us a lot of battery, not having apps using GPS in the background or accessing other parts of the phone in the background, but it's also a little bit more privacy. And if you're curious about Xiaomi and privacy and kind of the scandals going on with that, check out this video here. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the things that I've been disappointed with in the global release of MIUI 12 and the China-specific release of MIUI 12 as well, just kind of MIUI 12 things in general. We're not getting a lot of extra performance out of this. Now, Apple is famous for releasing, I think it was iOS 12, which had a noticeable performance improvement on their older devices. I haven't seen performance improve on the K20 Pro with MIUI 12. I didn't really see a performance improvement with MIUI 12 on the Poco F2 Pro. This is something that really strikes a nerve with Xiaomi users, which is that we are getting Android updates and we're getting MIUI updates for devices that are supported, but we're not getting a lot of added performance, although we might get more and added functionality. The fact that they're not doing anything to try to speed up the overall user experience is a little disappointing. And it's something that I would like to see happen a lot more with MIUI, with trying to improve the overall performance and RAM management on this skin of Android. Because to be honest, if we aren't doing that, we're not actually getting anything more out of our devices. And on top of that, for some of these devices that have low amounts of RAM, they're getting worse performance because MIUI 12 is so RAM heavy. If you've had MIUI 12, let me know what your experience has been in the comment section down below. And until next time, it's been Mitchell, peace.